In 1925, the Harvard University Boston Museum of Fine Arts expedition under George Reisner made one of its greatest discoveries ever at Giza. Working on the east side of the Great Pyramid, the expedition photographer's tripod slipped in the limestone bedrock, which turned out to be not bedrock at all, but plaster covering. It was hiding something. No superstructure, no mastaba, no pyramid was on the surface, but underground, a stairway led to a burial shaft that continued downwards and downwards for some 90 feet. Reisner was at Harvard teaching at this time, and it took many, many months for him to come to the site and inspect the finds. At the bottom of the shaft, finally, there was an unfinished chamber filled with the very deteriorated remains of furniture, ceramics, jewelry, and other treasures. Here you see it in its reconstructed form, only possible due to the meticulous excavation and documentation techniques of the original excavators. They lay on mattresses with the flies and the heat and bit by bit lifted up every little piece of gilding, of broken ceramic, of jewelry, of wood, and were able to reconstruct all of this ancient furniture almost 5,000 years ago from Dynasty IV. What was this find? It belonged to Queen Hetep Harris, the wife of King Sneferu, first king of the fourth dynasty, and the mother of King Khufu, builder of the Great Pyramid. Her furniture was here, her alabaster sarcophagus, a bed canopy, curtain box, carrying chairs. And yet when all was cleared away and the lid of the sarcophagus opened, the sarcophagus was empty. No body, no mummy, another mystery. Even much of the objects had been placed in in seemingly reverse order from what you would expect in a normal burial. Was the body ever placed here and moved later? Was Queen Hedeparis buried at Dashur in the vicinity of her husband and then moved here after her tomb was possibly plundered? The theories abounded. Reisner was a fan of detective novels and so he had a very involved explanation for all of this. We may never know the true answer. It might have something to do with the Queen's pyramids up above and changes in plan for Khufu's causeway and pyramid temple. Maybe the Queen was moved from the pyramid to here, or from here to one of the Queen's pyramids. We might never know. The only remains of her body were found in this canopic chest set in a niche to one side of the chamber, where, inside four compartments, the remains of her internal organs were discovered still in liquid form after 5,000 years.